Hello lovelies, it's your girl Ursula C and I'm coming to you with my end of the month review for February. February was a very interesting month as far as products and things that I liked and didn't like for a number of reasons. But first, as always, I would like to say thank you for my, you know, shout out to my old subscribers and thank you to any of my new subscribers out there. Hope that you all are enjoying the channel and that you know you're being entertained and you like what you see and you're getting some good information from sorry everything is falling and I'm not editing that out because editing these days is just like not happening anyway thank you all for subscribing to my channel if this is your first time if you like what you see then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and as always guys comment ask questions <clears throat> excuse me comment ask questions if there's any videos that you want to see done just let me know and I'll see if, what I can do as far as tutorials or products maybe that you want me to review things like that I'm just gonna jump straight into this um, <clears throat> as you guys know and I probably will say like a thousand times within this video as I've said a couple times in other videos I have a wedding coming up and so I'm really trying to get into shape and my sister had the insanity program workout program from Beachbody and she was doing really well on it and she had to stop because the doctor told her she had to stop because of other things uh, medical conditions and things going on with her at the time so she actually sent me the insanity tapes because these things are expensive and when she sent them my so very smart sister sent them to the wrong address I love her. She's really great. But she sent them to the wrong address. Anyway, so that just became a whole thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to freaking buy the tapes or DVDs. Buy the DVDs and just do them and just give it a try. I've tried uh, another Beachbody pro uh, product, Slim and Six, years ago. And I still do it. Well, of course, not recently. But I still would do it every now and then, pull out the DVDs. And it really does work. I think I do better with at-home workouts than I do at the gym. Uh, I'll go to the gym, but right now I have no gym membership, and so this was just an easy plan for me. And so this is how it comes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but insanity. And when you open it up, it has, I think there's like 13 DVDs in here, and you know, each day on the calendar because you have a calendar here it tells you what um, programs that you should be doing you know which tape that you should be doing so you will never be just totally you know out the loop and not knowing what to do you're supposed to work out six days a week with the with these and I this is my first week and I have today and tomorrow and then Thursday is my rest day and then I start back up for the next week's worth of workouts and let me tell you it kicks your butt yeah I'm actually gonna do a totally separate series you know how I like to do my series and video on the workout um, I did take before pictures and I don't know if I'm gonna post those because you know I want you guys to see the difference because for me it's not just about losing weight it's just about toning the body and just feeling healthier and you know feeling healthier when you feel healthier you, like you just have this glow and you feel better and you look better on the outside so I'm gonna be doing this and it is for 60 days so at the end of 60 days of course I will definitely get back with you guys but don't know how I'm gonna do the series if I want to like check in once a week and, and tell you how I'm doing but this week has been very interesting. Um, it's it's hard. It really is. It's like football training camp, basketball training camp, boot camp from the military, just your regular person at the gym, like just training you. I mean, it's just like an all-in-one of like everything. And I've never... I, I, I sweat it. I mean, I sweat bad, and I've never done that. The closest I've done that is with the Jillian Michaels, but I'm really going to stick this out. Plus, I paid a pretty penny for it. So, um, look forward to those videos coming up. 
in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do one this week, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, but they are a true workout. Okay, so going from that, I did want to talk about some lip glosses that I have been buying. First of all, this is the Million. They sell it at Walgreens, CVS, and let's see. This just says G110, so I don't know if there's an actual name for it, and I don't know if you could tell the color, but let's see if that's, I guess you can see it. It's, it's a really cool color. Um, it kind of goes on sheer, but you definitely can see the color. I don't even think this was more than $3. I don't know, even know. Um, oh, the name of it is Putting on the Glitz putting on the glitz so by million and then the other one is by Jordana also find it at Walgreens CVS this one is called BTW which is stands for by the way it's a really fun cool color and I actually have it on now I don't know if you can <laughs> see it or how it shows up I love my MAC products but like I said I'm I have a wedding, so I can't just be all over the place with products and buying products on top of product on top of product. So I have to be really, really careful about that. So this was, I think, a dollar ninety-nine, and I bought some of the other colors as well, and they work really good. They're not sticky at all. They smell great, and so if you're looking for a cheaper brand or you know for lip gloss and stuff like that. I would definitely try one of these two brands out the Jordana, Jordana and the Million. Putting on the glitz, and this is BTW, by the way. There you go. I'm like, can you see it? So, I just wanted to do those because I was wanting some new lip gloss, and I mean, $4, no more than $3. Who can beat that? Anyway, going into hair and this is going to be the big portion of my video and if this runs long I'm sorry as you guys know no let me back up what do I have in my hair today well actually this is from as I've been working out I've been having to rinse my hair a lot more or co-wash because um, it's just sweaty I mean <clears throat> It's not like, like yesterday my workout didn't seem so hard, so I didn't have to co-wash and I didn't rinse my hair. I just kind of fluffed it and kept going. But the other days, I was, I mean, I was drenched in sweat and I just couldn't keep my hair like that. I had to do it. Thank God I like washing goats because if I had to deal with that on an everyday basis, I don't know what would happen. Um, but I was away for the weekend <clears throat> and so I did not bring any of my conditioners that I've been using so I had to go out and buy some conditioner at Walmart <clears throat> and the conditioner that I bought was uh, Tresemme Naturals. I didn't buy the moisturizing one which I don't know why I think I just ended up picking up the wrong one but I picked up it was the Naturals but it was the volumizing one from the Naturals collection which honestly I don't I don't think it truly gave me any more or less volume and or anything like that but I tried it with just the conditioner and it was okay, left my hair a little dry, but once I put some gel on it the next time, the next day, it was a lot better and that this is actually from Saturday or Sunday that I've been wearing this. So with the Tresemme Naturals and I used the Diva Curl Angel, which I'll get to that in a minute and I don't have my little trial size of that. Anyway, I'm going to try and go through this quick. So, basically what I've been doing is the curly girl method. I started to notice that since I've been using or interchanging between sulfate and sulfate-free shampoos, that my hair's been doing a lot better than just using straight sulfate. And so, I've been trying to use sulfate-free products a lot more. Now, as you know, I do use Kinky Curly Not Today and Curling Custard. But, as I've stated in other videos... I don't know if it's the custard or the not today and I've implemented the custard with the regimen that I'm about to tell you in just a minute and I haven't had too many problems so I'm wondering if it was the conditioner the not today which I 
feel like it might have been and or maybe it, it was something I don't know so I have for the time being stopped using kinky curly not today I also stopped using it because I don't know if it truly is the weather or not I mean this is winter in Texas and <laughs> believe me guys it's not cold like some of you guys up north um, but my hair has been a lot drier this winter I have no idea what that's about and I feel like with the kinky curly not today I didn't feel like I was getting you know any good moisture moisture moisturization <laughs> you know with my hair my hair just didn't feel moisturized it felt kind of dry which was weird because with kinky curly my hair usually doesn't feel dry um, I even tried just leaving on the not today and then putting on that it, just something isn't right and it's funny last night I went on the kinky curly Facebook fan page and someone else or actually two other girls were saying that their hair felt dry and was asking did they change the formula or do anything I honestly don't believe that they changed the changed the things that they use maybe they stopped using so much of something I mean I have no idea um, what's going on I don't know where these girls live at to determine maybe it's just the weather but I know here in Texas um, it's it, of course it's a little cooler than summer but something just seems different so I started getting into the whole curly girl method where I would just co-wash or use um, a cleansing conditioner and one thing and I've been getting into the diva curl products but first of all I just want to let you know that I did buy the curly girl handbook I bought, bought it from Barnes and Nobles and it really is a great book it has a lot of homemade you know recipes it has um, ways to use diva curl products and how to how uh, Lorraine Massey feels like you should apply products to your hair. She uses um, corkscrew Botticelli. That's how she describes hair texture. She doesn't do, oh, I'm a 3A, 3C, 4A, all that kind of stuff. She doesn't do that. She categorizes it in a different way. Um, a CD comes with the book. It tells you how to clip pins in your hair to give your hair lift. Clip them at the bottom to give more hang time. It's, it really is a good book. So check it out it, it's helped me a little bit I haven't tried any of the homemade um, recipes that they have in there but I'm definitely looking forward to um, trying some of them because they look really good but one thing that I have been using is the L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Free Moisture System it's a cleansing conditioner And it says that it has no harsh salts, triple action hydration, natural botanicals. And I like this because Diva Curl does have a no poo and they have a low poo. And the no poo means it doesn't lather, it doesn't do anything. It's basically like a cleansing conditioner. And this was about five, six dollars at Target. You can get it at Target, Walgreens, whatever. And I think that it does the same thing. It smells really good. It has like this vanilla musky kind of scent I don't even know how to explain it but I just know that it smells good and I wouldn't tell you that something smells good if it smelled bad I mean everybody has their own taste but this is fairly decent they do have a leave-in conditioner and I have that I'm not too fond of it I think if I had to you know if I worked with it a little bit more maybe I would like it but I've been using this uh, most of the time because I don't like to co-wash I like to feel that I'm actually cleansing my hair and basically what you do is you take this and you want to mainly put it on your scalp and then kind of put, pull it through your hair um, and then just let it sit you know wash the rest of the bo your body while you're in the shower or I know some people wash and do their hair at the sink so just let it you know put a plastic cap on it or something let it do its thing and then rinse it out my hair felt clean my hair felt moisturized it didn't dry it out it didn't do anything the scent kind of lingered which I like because you know, you buy these shampoos and stuff sometimes, and then the scent doesn't even linger. It doesn't even do anything. So I've been using that. And then as my leave-in, I've been using Diva Curl One Condition. This stuff is pretty awesome, guys. I really, really like it. It smells good. Kind of has a candy kind of scent to it. Um, yeah, kind of smells like lemony, starburst, something Skittles type thing. To me, all their products smell good. Some people they some people don't like the smell, 
but it really does work great. I feel like my hair is very moisturized when I use this product, especially compared to Kinky Curly. The only pr problem is, and maybe I have to work with how to apply the product, is I really want to get to a point where I only use conditioner and no gel. Now the gels that I have used, which is Kinky Curly, of course we know that that's natural, it's really nothing harmful about it. I think that in the end I probably will at some point always need to use a gel, but maybe I won't have to use as much. But I would love to just get to a point where I don't need any gel to hold or tame my flyaways and my frizzies. Just use the conditioner and go. Now with this conditioner, I had bought it in a travel size first and then I bought, went ahead and bought the full bottle because I wanted to give it you know, another try and just really use the whole bottle and see how my skin reacts to it and also see how my hair reacts to it and so far so good. Um, the only thing is, like I said, is the gel aspect of it. I've used Kinky Curly with this but I didn't apply it the same way that I applied it with, um, with the Not Today and I think that's, that's my issue is that when you try new products, of course that product line will tell you how to apply it and it's different than how I would do with Kinky Curly so I just have to get used to it and also tweak it a little bit and see what can work for me. I also tried their uh, Diva Curl Angel and the first time I tried it I didn't like it. It made my hair feel very waxy and just it didn't feel great to me. Um, the second time I tried it I forgot my, my trusty one conditioner at home. This is like really like green isn't it? Eee! Anyway, <laughs> um, so that's when I have to use the Tresemme Naturals and that's what I have in my hair now. and. Um, it's held up really well and I figure if all else fails and I can't keep up with the price of this because I think this was like I don't know it, it was expensive like anywhere between I want to say 15 to 18 dollars just for this I would you know I, of course I would rather use kinky curly and just continue with my gel and I think this will last me a long time because even with the not today I didn't use a lot of product but if all else fails Ladies, if you're looking for a leave-in conditioner or you are doing the Curly Girl Method, I would highly recommend uh, the Tresemme Naturals. It worked really, really well for me. And like I said, I had to put gel. And like I said, it's just one of those things you, I think with any products and when you're trying new products, you have to get the hang of them and see how they can really work for you to give them a fair, you know, opportunity chance to see how they really work in your hair. Um... I'm definitely not becoming a product junkie again. I just, you know, I have my thing, I have my set products that I use for like, you know, when I do twist outs or braid outs. And I had my wash and go products, which is basically what I always do is wash and goes. So, um, I'm not frustrated, but I'm a little bit like, ugh, because I don't want to become a product junkie. I'm not going to become a product junkie. It's just that I really have, would have liked to just stay with my kinky curly, not today, and curling custard. Like I said, I'm going to continue to use the curling custard, the um, not today. I, I think that might have been breaking me up, but I am going to go back to it. But I probably won't go back to um, Kinky Curly until after my wedding, probably. Also, so with that said, that's it. Oh, and I do use some salt, salt bait free shampoo, and right now I'm just using organics. Um, I don't like it or hate it, but it's okay. You know, it, it works. It gets the job done. Every now and then, especially after the other day when I had a really waxy feeling in my hair and I just feel like there was so much product, I did use my Sulfate Kenra uh, shampoo, color safe shampoo, and then I just went back straight into co washing and everything like that. So um, I think they said, you know, you can do it once a month or really you shouldn't do it at all, but I guess once a month or you know, you can kind of modify the Curly Girl method if you really feel like you need to use a low poo, which a lot of Kenra products are made with uh, the sulfate that's not as harsh, uh, especially with the color care line. So I did use that that one time. Also to end, I, like I said, I have a product for twist outs and stuff, which is my Cara Care uh, natural line product. Um, and then my wash and go products like I said right now I'm doing the diva curl stuff until and using my kinky curly not today gel and I might use the angel if I can figure out you know how to use it correctly 
you know, I like using, I try and use things that are in the same product line, but if I have to, you know, maneuver, at least I know that I'm using two good natural products. But I don't straighten my hair that often, but when I do, I'm like, okay, well, if I'm not going to do this whole cones and sulfates and all this other kind of stuff, what can I use for my hair when I'm straightening it? Straightening it. And so I went to Ulta, and this is probably the only thing that I should, like, that I kind of splurged on, which I really didn't need it at the time because I really don't need to straighten my hair. But it was the Carol's Daughter Chocolate Smoothing System. And this is just a trial pack, and I still have a lot of product left. So, and it was like 20 bucks. Um, first of all, the shampoo, well, first of all, all the products, they do smell good. It's, it does smell chocolate. It doesn't smell like sweet chocolate. It smells like a musky kind of chocolate. So, it smells good. Um, it lingers in the hair a little bit. The shampoo and conditioner, it was okay. I right, so when it comes to sulfate-free, I have yet to find a shampoo and conditioner that I feel was just like the bomb.com. So, yeah. So anyway, I feel like all the products um, smell the same. I applied it as it says, which it, you know, you wet, you shampoo your hair, all that stuff. And then the blow dry cream, you apply to damp hair, squeeze a diamond amount into hands and rub them together. Use your fingers to work it into your hair as evenly as possible from roots to ends. Then turn on your blow dryer and let the heat turn on your flawless frizz free style. I have to say something, when I got done the very first day, my cousin is staying with me right now and I came out and she goes your hair doesn't look the same like when you normally flat iron it it doesn't it doesn't look right and it didn't my hair felt dry it felt dry I had to add um, I actually added some of my Care Care buttercream to my hair and then after that my hair was fine but the way that they promote the product is just like that's basically all you need in your hair is the is the blow dry cream and then you're gonna get these silky results and I did not I did not I had to apply a lot of moisture to my hair and um, after I did that it, it did look great I have pictures it did look great it did I want to say for the most part it was frizz free again we're in Texas so it's a little less humidity I would love to try it in the summer and see what happens but it did my hair was, you know, it, it felt silky, it felt nice. But is this a product that I'll try or buy again? Probably not. Will I try it again? Maybe so. I mean, as far as because I have the products in my hand, yeah, I'll use it up. Because maybe I'm using it wrong. That was only the very first time, so first impression. But like I said, first impression made my hair dry. The, I flat ironed it and blow dried it like I would any other time and as the box stated which is basically what I do anyway and my flat iron process and blow dry it looked crazy usually when I get done blow drying my hair looks fairly I'm not gonna say it's silky straight but it's you know I don't have to apply that much heat and I felt with this I had to apply heat and I had to apply heat the next day just to um, with the moisture just to get it to function to look like those girls hair on the back of there so um, it's a lot more work I feel than it lets on maybe I'm doing it wrong that's why I said I will try it again I don't know when because I really don't plan on straightening my hair anytime soon um, but who knows I'll try it again and see what happens anyway I know it was kind of long but I had to explain the hair process I had to explain you know the losing weight and all that and if you have any questions over the products which weren't a lot as you see I'm really trying not to spend a lot of money but if you have any questions over the products that were mentioned just let me know and like I said as far as the workout um, DVD insanity I'm so hyped I think that anybody should try it I'm so hyped and if any of you guys have any questions or comments or anything leave them at the bottom of this video and I guess I probably will be uh, in the upcoming week or weeks be making videos on the insanity just to let you know how I'm doing. I probably will do one at the end of this week to let you know how my first week went. 
and then probably I won't let you know until you know 15 days into it and then at the end of the first month and into the beginning of the second month in the middle and then the end of the 60 days anyway I hope you guys have a good rest of the week we're just getting started it's Tuesday and sorry this video is like hella long hella long but I just had to explain a few things um, because I have been getting comments on my hair oh and one other thing I did in this book it tells you how to cut your hair while it's curly and let me tell you I did it I cut my hair while it's curly and some of the parts and this was after I had used the curls Dar smoothing system some of the parts seemed a little not as bouncy and as soon as I trimmed my hair I mean those curls just like they just like sprung together and they just start whoop whoop and I was like okay so I didn't do any major cutting to like shaping or anything like that I think this summer when my birthday rolls around I think that's gonna be my treat to myself to go to we have a diva curl stylist here in Houston and um, I think I'm gonna go to her and let her just kind of shape my hair not really cut length but just shape it and, and make it look nice and even so anyway I hope you guys have a good rest of the month enjoy and God bless talk to you guys later